Hi guys, good evening. I hope you're doing well. I'm still fasting. Today is my 10th day and I'm coming off well, I'm coming off on Wednesday next week. Um I decided to go 5 more days because of the coffee drinking and using all the additives in the coffee. I'm doing 5 more days. Now, you all can come off tomorrow. I'm going to make a stew tomorrow and, and I'm going to show you how to make it on the video and everything, you know. So I'm doing water uh, for the next five days, but sometimes I may have a fruit smoothie if I feel like I need it, but I'm not going to be doing coffees for five straight days. I'm going to leave a coffee alone. It's not good for me. So I made me a blueberry. This is just blueberries and milk. I made this like a little evening snack. But the fast is over at 12 midnight, or you could have came off at 12 noon today. Uh, but 12 midnight is optimal. Tomorrow you come off with soup broth, chicken or beef broth. Now I'm going to make a uh, lentil soup tomorrow. And I'm going to be showing you uh, probably around lunch hour how to make that. And uh, you can sip on it all day or just eat it at night, however you want to do, eat it for a meal. So I'm going to be here to discuss with you about a few things about the diet. Now I'm going to be reading you some out of this book. This is a book that I love and I always use it as a resource for my eating habits. So I'm going to be reading you. He's, he's Christian. He's saved. And this is called a Physician's Rx, and it's, jo it's Jordan Rubin. He's a Jewish guy. His name is Jordan Rubin, if you'd like to pick it up. And the book is, let me see what year is this written. He's, he's very good at what he speaks about. I'm going to read you. He, everything is scriptural. Everything is scriptural in here. This book. It was written in 2005, so it's an older book. But the first chapter he talks about is Eat to Live. And it sounds familiar, right? Eat to Live, how to eat to live. So what I want to read to you is what he have over here, because this goes along with faith. It says here, Hebrew 11 and 1. He said he recites, he recited this in his head. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What happened next? He was going through an illness. He said, what happened next? become one of the most important decisions that I ever made. He said, I asked my mother, my mom, to take my picture. I wanted a photography evidence of mighty miracle that God was about to do in my life, which meant that I needed a before picture. I'm thinking about doing a before picture because I'm on a, a weight loss journey and uh I know that this fasting is sort of unlocking some things in me and I'm beginning to feel a hundred percent better. You see, I had my hair is trimmed a little because it was growing weird. So I have to let it grow back the right way naturally. So he has a picture in here and he also says, I also knew that the apostle Paul had written, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That's 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. He said, when God looked upon me, he did not see failure or weakness. He saw a shapeless lump of clay he could mold and let him grab hold of my life. Amen. So you got to surrender when you're fasting to the Lord, get down on your knees, get you a pillow. I got me a little pillow over there and just get down and humble yourself and pray, especially early in the morning time when you wake up. If anything, you have things on your mind, pray about those things because that's how the devil get in.
That's how he get in your mind. He'll put something on your mind and you begin to it begin to turn in your head and turn and turn. And you'll go to bed with that same thing turning in your mind. When something comes in your mind that you want to go over and over like that, get out on your knees and pray and let the Lord have that. Give it to the Lord. Whatever it is that worry you, turmoil, conflict, get on your knees and pray. Get on your knees and humble down. Lord, I'm coming to you right now about this or about that. Anything, anything. I even have some things in my mind going on. I need to get down and pray. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to empty my mind out. I'm going to get on my feet and empty my, I'm going to get on my knees over there. Empty my thoughts out. Empty it out. Empty it out to the Lord. When you empty it out, he'll put something better in there for you. Take my word at it. Now, the reason I got this book open is because, this is what he said here. He says, when you offer your body as a living sacrifice by following God's ultimate health plan, you'll live an abundant life. You know what God's ultimate health plan is, right? Majority fruits and vegetables, mostly all. You know, I know you guys want the meats, but the meats is not the way to go. Sometimes, you can get a little fish or a little chicken or a little turkey every now and then, very small amounts. But you are not to be just thriving off of that because that's what's wrong with a, a lot of people. I don't want to be judgmental, but too many meats is not good for your blood to stay clean. And now you got to fast to get all this stuff out of your blood system. You got to keep fasting to clean your blood system up. You know, you want your blood to flow through the veins at an optimal level because of blood is everything is your life it's your heartbeat your lungs your kidneys your uh your liver all your organs everything goes with the blood and how it's flowing through the body so you want to make sure you're not eating something that's have a lot of contaminants in it have a lot of oils and have a lot of uh, uh what they call antibiotics a lot of meats have a lot of antibiotics in it and when you take so many antibiotics in I don't care if it's organic. It's still got antibiotics in it. The antibiotics is what they give you when you get sick. They give you the antibiotics to ward off disease. But now you're constantly taking in the antibiotics. Every time you eat, you're taking in the antibiotics through the meats. So you have to be careful not to eat so much of it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so this says, Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. That's in John 10 and 10. God wants you to have an abundant life. A term I equate with performance, which is a word usually reserved for athletes and entertainers. In the Lord's eyes, however, all of us perform stay-at-home moms, busy pastors, high-power executives, and ambitious students. Okay, so he's he's got this here in the background, but I'm going to give you a list. Let me find a list. I'm going to give you a list of all. Uh, what you can buy at the store that's going to be healthy because you're coming off of your fast. I'm going to go in another room, take my little smoothie and my little stuff. Guys, I'm not going to be doing the exercise until Wednesday because I'll be coming off this fast on Wednesday. Uh, I, I'm not going to do it right now because I need my strength to get through five more days. All I'm doing with this fast is... Uh, Fruit smoothie every now and then, every other day I'm going to do a fruit smoothie. I'm just doing water. And if you have tea, you do tea in the place of that coffee. Tea in the morning, water all day. If you need it, if you feel like you're weak, you can make your fruit smoothie with some milk. But if you're not weak, just go on through your day with your water, your tea, no sugar, no sugar, water and tea. Every now and then I'll have a fruit smoothie when I feel real weak. I'll have that. So. Oh, now you want to turn it off, huh? Okay, so I'm here doing something. Okay, I'm going to sit over here for a minute. So I'm going to give you guys the list of what you can get at the store because you may have to go to the store and pick up your little knickknacks. Or whatever you know when you're coming off of a fast 
you normally want to be able to cook whatever you like. And so if you're going to start eating with me, you're going to be eating vegan. However, you don't want to jump into it quickly because, you know, we used to eat meat. So you still want to get you some chicken, uh, get your little chicken wings. Always try to get the meat on the bone if you can. If you can't get the meat on the bone, get the chicken breast. It's up to you. But I try to get my meat on the bone all the time. If I get a chicken breast, I get the breast on the bone. I don't want to get no meat that's not on the bone because you don't know what's going on there. So uh, get you some chicken. Get you some ground turkey. And any kind of fish you like. You can get salmon. You can get uh, pollock. Pollock is the best. Pollock, salmon, wild caught or regular song, and you can get, uh, if you can't afford to get that, you can get the little packages for lunch, like what you put on the salad. I get those all the time. It, it has salmon in a little flat package. You can throw it on top of a salad or put it on top of some rice or something. Um, get you some rice, like some brown rice or some yellow rice. Also, you want to get... Um, Fish, chicken, turkey, uh, rice. The other thing, oh, quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Get some quinoa because that's high in uh, protein. Get some quinoa. Uh, get you some peanut butter and um, apricot preserves. Don't get jelly. Get preserves if you want to make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You just don't feel like cooking. Maybe you want to make your kids a peanut butter and jelly cat sandwich. Get some kind of preserves. They have strawberry preserves. They have apricot preserves. Um, if you can afford to get some real raw honey, but honey is expensive, so I, I haven't bought any of that. The other thing you can do is very good. You can get you some maple syrup and make you get you some flour to make you some pancakes. Or either if you have to get the box pancake mix. Maybe your kids want to eat breakfast, pancake, and maple syrup. Um, the other thing, get you some beans. Get all sorts of beans in the bag because they're cheaper. You can get a bag of beans, a large bag for about $2 or a small bag for $0.89 cent or a dollar. Always keep beans because vegans eat a lot of beans. And if we're going to be vegan, we got to start cooking up those beans, Learn, learning how to make them in different ways so they're versatile. Also, if you would like to try, get you some tofu. And uh, you can try to cook that up into some chicken. I'm going to have some tofu recipes coming up. The other thing is, um, if you need salad, you can get salad if you want that. Now, let me look in this book and see what looks good in here. Also, I keep frozen fruit in the freezer because I might decide to make me, if I'm feeling weak or tired, I'll make me a fruit smoothie in the blender in there with milk and fruit. Just put milk and fruit, and it'll pick your energy level right up. You don't have to put nothing in there but milk and fruit. That's it. Uh, I'm not coming off my fast to Wednesday, so I won't be really doing nothing but cooking what's in the kitchen. Now tomorrow I'm making lentil. Get you some lentils. Get all kinds of lentils. I'm making a lentil stew tomorrow. And you know, if I was coming off, I would have been eating that lentil soup, but a lentil stew, but I'm not coming off. I'm making a soup, a lentil soup. So it's going to be lentil. It's going to be ground turkey meat in there. I'm not going to put a lot, but a little bit of ground turkey meat to give it a little something else. And I'm going to be using tomato sauce and some seasonings in there. That's all I'm going to be using. Um, you could either use parsley in it or cilantro, whichever one that you like, parsley or cilantro. If you like onions, you can add onions in it. But I'm going to be making that tomorrow. So let me see what else I see in here that's good. Uh, I was going to tell you about 
you got peanut butter, you got jelly, you got uh, beans and rice, uh, tofu, chicken or turkey if you want to get some meat, fish, whatever is on sale. You know, I, I get when I go to the store, I'm looking for whatever is on sale. That's how I shop. The good fish, salmon, tuna, halibut, cod, haddock, tilapia. If you guys see tilapia or snapper, you can get cans of sardines if you like sardines. White fish. Get some soup stock. Soup stock because you can always make that to sip on after after you come off your fast. Make sure you get you some tea, lemon, lime, so you can keep making your teas if you want to go through a couple of days with me next week. Because I'll be doing it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm doing it all through the weekend, too. I'm doing five more days. So, today is Friday. I'll probably make me a smoothie on Sunday. I'm not going to do nothing tomorrow. I had to work tomorrow for a couple hours in the evening. So Sunday, I'm going to be cooking him some dinner. So I'm going to make me a smoothie on Sunday. When I make that lentil stew tomorrow, I might taste a little bit of it. And then I'm just going to stay, continue to fast. And not, I won't eat much because I'm not supposed to come off of the fast. But I will taste I'm gonna taste a little bit because I'm making it. So I want to eat a little bit of it. But uh, it won't be much. So... I basically will be starting my fast back after I eat that stew. So it'll be a full day on Sunday at noon. Because I'm going to get up in the morning and make that. And then at noon I'll have a little bit. Uh, another thing you can get, guys, you can get some uh, for your tummy. Keep you some milk. Keep you some yogurt or some kefir. It's, there's a milk called kefir. And that can help coat your stomach uh if you can't if you don't like the taste of the kefir then just get you some milk milk has probiotic in it um kefir k-e-f-i-r -E i don't think they sell raw milk or goat milk at the store but the healthiest milk is raw milk and goat milk you know organic raw milk so just get kefir uh, yogurt, just plain yogurt and milk to keep coating, to keep your stomach coated. Okay, it's going to be good for your stomach. If you can find coconut milk, that's good. If you can find a coconut milk, coconut milk is basically what vegans eat. But kefir I like because it coats your stomach. You can find a flavored kefir and get you some coconut milk. Make sure if you can get you some coconut oil in the kitchen it's good to be able to simmer things in coconut oil another thing get you some cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage celery carrot um broccoli i'm not going to be cooking any squashes anytime soon garlic and onion get your garlic and onion lettuces and spinaches your uh, olive oil, squirt lemon over it with the olive oil. If you like mushrooms, you can get you some mushrooms. If you like mushrooms, I, I like them sometimes, but I don't eat them much. I don't like them like that. Uh, sweet potato is good. Also cans of corn or cream corn, any kind of corn. Now, uh, as far as the fruit that a vegan can eat, you can eat strawberries, blueberries, uh, apples, apricot, grape, melons, oranges, lemons, bananas. You can eat a, a whole variety of any type of fruit that you like. Make your choice and truly enjoy it, okay? Truly. And then for the grains, if you're going to get a grain or you're going to buy something like a bread, make sure you get Ezekiel bread because Ezekiel bread is the sprouted one. It's the sprouted bread. Or get the uh, Dave's killer bread. Dave's is another good one. If you want to make some bread, get some buckwheat, some millet. I told you to get the quinoa. 
uh, get the uh, Aranath, Aranath, if you see that in the store. Now, as far as your sweetener, you're only going to use raw honey or date sugar for a sweetener in any type of baking or anything like that. Raw honey or date. Now, I told you to get all of your dry, dry bean, navy bean, black bean, white bean, red bean, split pea, lentil, get your beans. I'm not doing a lot of seeds and nuts, but I do have pumpkin seeds, walnuts, and almonds in the kitchen. I just got some basic nuts. So, as far as a snack, you can get flaxseed cracker. That's a good snack for vegan. Um, organic cocaya, cocaya powder, unsweetened Hershey cell cocaya powder. Uh, let's see what else. Macaroons, get you some healthy macaroons. That's a good cookie. If you need a spread, um... You can use a cream cheese spread or a uh, hummus spread or a um, zatiti, zatia. You can use an avocado spread, all types of spread you can put on a cracker. Now for beverages, make sure you get you some unsweet tea if you like drinking tea. Your regular tea to make hot tea, your tea bags. Also, um sparkling water or carbonated water where you add the fruit in it and it tastes like a soda pop don't buy regular soda just get the carb water and add the fruit in it regular soda is going to bloat your stomach because my stomach's so bloated right now because i've been calling myself fasting and in a couple of days i snuck and drunk a coke so i'm still fasting all right guys i think that's about it i told you about getting the coconut milk uh if you like soy milk you can get that uh, if you want yogurt, cream cheese, if you like cheese, try to get cheese made out of nuts. Uh, vegans eat cheese made out of cashew, I think. It's called cashew butter cheese. You know, but if you're not ready to switch, you can still get regular. But I think I'm going to try switching, but after my cheese run out, you know, I'm going to let I'm gonna let my cheese run out first. And I'm not going to say eat cans, but if you see canned vegetables, get organic canned vegetables. Because sometimes I get those and put them in soups because it's cheaper than having to buy everything separate. Make sure it's an organic canned vegetable that, you know, it's not too many ingredients on the back of the can. And it's in date. It's up to date if you're going to get a can. But if not, get fresh vegetables like carrots, potatoes, and things like that. Just try to get them fresh. All right, that's it. You got your honey. You got your maple syrup. You already know that. Um, you know to get uh, kamut, spelt barley corn. Get whole grain bread or either get the Ezekiel. That's the best. I told you about unsweet tea. tea. Uh, if you're going to get some wine, make sure you use organic. Get organic wines if you want to have a wine every now and then. If your husband drink beer, get him organic beer. Make sure everything is, is good and organic, that it's not a lot of additives in it. You know, but you want to abstain from those beers, but I can't tell people what to do. People do what they want. So, and you know, your snacks can be popcorn, baked corn, rice chip, some type of milk, like a coconut and a fruit in it or something, or a kefir with a fruit, a soy protein. Um, stay away from buying the pork, okay? Don't buy the seafood that don't have the fins on it because they're not cleaning themselves. Stay away from all the pork stuff. I know y'all like that pork stuff, but stay away from that. Stay away from buying a bunch of lunch meats. If you buy lunch meat, always make sure you buy corned beef because it's from beef. But I don't eat, we're not eating beef no more. Try to buy turkey or chicken lunch meat. Turkey cuts or chicken. If they got in the deli, they got chicken. So give me some chicken cuts. Get your chicken or turkey as far as lunch meat. We're not doing no more beef. So we can't do the beef. Um, eggs. You want to get egg beaters because we're coming off of eggs. We're supposed to be using just egg, but get you some egg 
beaters because we're going to be coming off of the egg. We're not going to be doing the egg no more. So when my stuff run out of in here, I won't be doing the egg. Even when I have to bake some bread or something to, you want, we want to bake the bread at home, that's better. We have to use applesauce for leavening in the bread, not uh, egg. You can use applesauce, I think, or you can use uh, bananas, either bananas or applesauce. So, I guess that's it. And for condiments, for condiments, all spices, all spice, yeah, all spices contain sugar. That's what it's saying here. For condiment, just make sure when you buy a condiment like a salad dressing or a tomato or a hot sauce, read the ingredient label, and the first couple ingredients should be what's in it. If you read the label and the first ingredients is a bunch of stuff you can't pronounce, don't buy that one because it's not healthy. But if you read the label in the hot sauce or the ketchup or whatever, soy sauce, sweet and sour sauce, if it says on the label, sweet and sour or whatever is in it, that's supposed to be in it, then you can get it. If it says a sour seasoning or, or, or some kind of sweet, see what kind of sugars is in it as well. Try to get things to say pure cane sugar, organic sugar, anything to say organic. You don't want these made up oils and sugars in your stuff because a lot, a lot of these made up things is what making people sick. And make sure all the condiments have three or four ingredients, not a whole like 20 or 50 ingredients and some I'm going to sprinkle on something. You don't want to buy that. All right, guys, I said I'm not going to hold you up. I hope that you can replay the video and write down the list of things that you can shop from. And uh, I'll put a few things in the back of the video. So tomorrow is lentil stew, lentil soup. And that's uh, a little bit of ground turkey, lentils, and tomato sauce. If you want to add some onions in there, you can, and a little parsley. And I'm going to put some seasonings in there with it, some uh no salt uh, lemon pepper. I use no salt seasonings because when I get my food, I might want to put a little salt on the plate or whatever. So, but I think the tomato sauce is in a can. It might have some salt in it. I don't know. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. And I hope you pick up a few things you need at the store. God bless you. If you want to go five more days, it's up to you. If you want to come off tomorrow, it's up to you. But I'm going on five more days until Wednesday next week. All right. Have a good night, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.